Hi everyone, you may remember this one that I made which was inspired by The Purge. Unfortunately, as you can see, I broke her face. So she's going to have to have a new mask. So that's what I'm doing today. So I've got some epoxy sculpt. Um, that's going to be too much, I think. I'll take off a chunk of that. I can use that to sculpt details. Um, yeah, I dropped her, cracked the face. Um, had a look to see um, how bad it was and broke it off. So I removed the whole of the, th the mask and then thought, well, I'll just start again. Never mind, it gives me a chance to sculpt something new. So I'm starting off with the basic face shape for the mask. Like so. Let's give that a smooth down. I want it as smooth as I can get it. And all I'm going to do as well is I've got some residue on the doll from the previous mask. I'm going to get that off. I'll just have to repaint her, but that's fine. Got that so far. So then what I'm going to do is give it a little bit of a nose. I know that looks massive right now, but it'll uh, all even out afterwards. Oops. I'm just going to dip my clay tool in some water. It just helps with smoothing down the epoxy sculpt. Because otherwise it just sticks to everything. I'm just checking I'm still in shot. Yeah. Okay. So I'm filming on my iPad now, so I have to make sure I've got it lined up right. Otherwise, 
sometimes I'm down the bottom of the shot and you can't see what I'm doing, but that's okay. I'm in shot. So just smooth all that down first. Remember I'm not going for realistic, I'm going for a scary mask. If you need to get marks out of the main mask shape and smooth it down, use baby wipe. I know I use a baby wipe for like virtually everything, but it does work really well for smoothing down the epoxy sculpt, as you can see. I could give this one quite a blank expression, I think. Blank expressions are more creepy. And some nice hollowed out eyes. Then I'm going to take my craft knife and I'm going to add some details in like maybe there's like little cracks where she's like fought before. Another chunk missing of the mask there. Maybe a previous uh, victim fought back or something. I've just got a scuff mark there. I'm going to use that actually and I'm going to make a wound. So this is where she's been fighting and got wounded. So I just took a little chunk out of her arm there, 
she obviously won, but at the same time got uh, damaged. <coughs> There we go. So she's got a new mask now. And then all she's going to need is um, paintwork fixing, um, the mask repainting, and um, a weapon. Because she hasn't got a weapon. Um, she did have, but I don't know what I've done with it. Um, <coughs> so I think what I'll do is I'll make. I'll make her a weapon. So I've got this cotton bird. I'm just going to remove the cotton. Okay. It's not bad size wise. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing at the minute, I'm just... So that's like the handle and then I've got to make some sort of spiky thing on. Oh, maybe she's got a mace. Okay, we'll do that. So I just saw a uh, <coughs> message popped up on my video that I've made. So what I'm doing is I'm adding these little spikes to it. So 
It's not going to be perfect because it is made out of clay, but it's going to be better than nothing. And I'll get, I'll make her like a, a knife or something as well. I'll give her some like more weaponry. I think that's what she needs. got some stuff somewhere, I don't know where I've put it, I've got some like metal Harry Potter ones and stuff out of like a little blind bag thing, I think I probably could convert them into something, I'll see if I can find them, there you go, that gives her a little weapon she can use, <coughs> and then I'll just glue that to her hand later on so I've got to leave that to set somewhere where it's not going to get squished so what I've got to do now is I've got to leave the clay to set and it doesn't look like much now but it will have um, obviously paintwork and everything in fact I will give her a bit of a green yeah that's better bit of an evil green um, so yeah, I've got to leave that to set over 24 hours and then I'll come back and show you what to do next. Okay, so now the um, epoxy sculpt is dry, it's time to paint the door. So first of all, I'm going to black out the hollow of these eyes. black out the um, inside the cracks and everything And what I'm doing is I'm putting wet paint on the edge of the eyes and then pulling it down with my finger to smudge it. Smooth off her face a bit. fact I'm gonna go over the whole thing I think I think it'll look better I prefer it darker so do that first use some of the excess paint to make her look all mucky because she's been through the walls she's been battling lots of people
add some red. And then I've got her mace that I made. Paint it black first. Paint the base of it later on once the rest of it's dry. And then I'm going to take off some of the paint. Oops, and a spike. Oh well. And then put some. So much stuck to my hand there. Then I'm going to put some red on the spikes. Bit random, not trying to. There we go. That's her mace that she'll take with her as well. Um, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little repaint repair. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.